Hi everyone, and welcome to another Swanage Railway Modeler video, where today I'm going to be doing a very quick, maybe 10 minute tutorial um, on how to download reskins of DP Simulation. For those of you not familiar with DP, it's a website where you can download reskins for existing packs. So if you go to the free rolling stock pack, um, and there are a list of different designers who design different things. For the moment, I'm going to go with this one, um, which has, I, th I think, the widest variety of different packs and is going to be the subject of the pack I download today um, which is a class 387-2 Electrostar um, in Gatwick Express livery um, which I'm going to be using for a scenario and a video later on um, in the next few weeks so once my computer decides to you know load which does take a while I'll be honest um, yeah so it comes up with the various adverts, and then you have a list of different things you can click on. It sorts it into sections for you. I'm going to click, um, unsurprisingly, on Electric Multiple Unit, EMU. Uh, click on that, and it takes me straight down to the list of Electric Multiple Units. Um, that first one, not sure about that, Southwest Train Stage Coast Fast 455. Um, oh, and actually, no, I'm going to download download the Thameslink one, which I'm also going to be using in a video. I'm using both of them at some point in the near future in videos. In order to download it, it gives you a list of things you need. All you've got to do is click on... Yeah, I've got the sound pack. Um, all you need to do is click on that. Um, and it should come up. If it doesn't, then you maybe click it twice, but with some with this bar on the bottom. Click Save. Wait for it to save. It'll go through the whole process. Um, I think perhaps we should come back to it once it's saved. Um, so let's wait for it to do that, we'll come back to it, yeah, um, and uh, now uh, click open or run. Um, it'll, come, it'll come to this, um, on it there'll be a list of programs which we'll come to in a minute, but first of all, um, I want to come to the readme notes document, uh, just taking a note of where, where, where in your computer is saved, but go to the readme, um, and amongst other things there are various disclaimers and copyrights and all of those things which you can read if you want if you have time um, and you know a list of important things um, but then you come down to um, this the instructions for installation um, some of them some of them are more complex than others um, this one the first instruction is unzip it so go back to the file it's in click extract extract do all of that it's now unzipped we've done the first bit of the readme um, easiest bit there. Um, next, um, if we go back to it, it'll tell us to install in TS Package Manager. Um, that does take uh, quite a bit of doing, so we'll go through that step by step. Um, first of all, um, we need to go into your main drive, which is probably a C drive. Um, let's find it there. Um, program Files 86. We'll have a list of things. Program Files 86. Click on that. Um, head down to Steam. Steam apps. Should all be in alphabetical order, so it's alright. Uh, common. Railworks. Assets. Oh, sorry, not even assets. Um, scroll down even to the bottom. Assets comes later. T TS um, Utilities. Open that folder up. Um, comes up with this rather bland looking document. Um, go to package manager as it instructed you in the readme. Uh, refresh, you've got to give it a couple of minutes just to sort itself out. Um, and this is where you can install all of the things, all of the third party add ons from places like DP um, onto Train Simulator. Um, so once it's loaded, on the left it'll come up with a list of things which I've already installed. Um, and I can then click install and go ahead. And install our class 387. So just give it a second to do this. Um, sorry, my computer's being a bit slow. Um, once it has, um, I will explain. Here we go, right. Um, so, a list of things I've already downloaded. Install. Now, this is where you've got to remember where you kept the thing you just downloaded. It'll probably be in downloads and if it's not at the top do it into date order so that it is at the top. Um, it'll then say just um, click that and run um, and 
give it another few minutes, well, a few minutes, g give it a few seconds to load. It very much depends on how fast your computer is and how fast it can process the download. Um, but you are just going to need to do that. And then once you're done, um, it should appear on the left, and you're done. And now we return to the README, and the final thing um, is it gives you a list of instructions as to where to go to do the final install of the pack. Now this is where we go back to um, Railworks, the Railworks folder, um, up to the top um, into Assets. And now there'll be a list of different um, developers who have made different add-ons for TrainSim. Um, ours is in RSC, because it's an add-on, a reskin, based on the Class 375 pack, which was originally made for the South London Network by the RSC thing. Just double-click that, get it to go, um, and it should then be installed. That should be it. If not, then you've run into problems. Um, so um, then you've got to install Train Simulator, um, and hopefully it will run. Before I actually get into doing this, I'm just going to show you um, one other way in which um, you may be asked to do this. The README may or may not say that you have to install some kind of something like GeoPX or so some file name like that. All you've got to do is go from the new pack, sorry, the old pack, the pack that it's a reskin of, so for the 387, it's currently 375, um, go into it, and they'll say copy those into the new reskin which you've just added. So you've got to, there'll be files like this, they'll look like this, it'll tell you in the README exactly which ones. You simply got to copy the files. Um, it doesn't, well, I'm just do, using um, this pack as an example, but you've got to copy them, and then go back into your 387 pack, or whichever one you need. Um, this is just an example. Um, go and find it, um, and then paste them into that and once you've done that that's an extra step which they sometimes ask you to do they need if they if it's not a proper install some packs are different from others and you need to move other stuff around then that's just all you need to do it's very simple just follow the instructions on the readme and copy those files so back to train sim um and we're now going to have a look at where you find um find this pack so um let's go into it um you may notice I've, I went in there just to double check it was actually there. Um, but if you just go into the quick drive, which is automatically when it comes up with drive, um, and you may have to just scroll through, um, because they're really not in alphabetical order, you just have to scroll through um, and keep looking until you find the pack or the thing you've installed. And hopefully there should be a little picture, and the picture should be the same as the picture um, that you saw on DP Simulation website before you downloaded it. Um, so as it happens, this one, I, I checked just to make sure it was here before I started recording this. Um, as it happens, it's at the end. Um, and so then gives you a list of options to drive it. Um, if you want to have a quick go at driving it, then ideally just test it in case there was any problem with the installation. Um, and you can just test it and make sure everything's all there before you just assume you're done. Likewise, make sure it's in the quick drive menu before you're done. Now, into the train. Um, you're in the cab. That even that, in some cases, is no guarantee that the rest of it has worked. Uh, remember, this is the same 375 cab. Um, but I uh, set the train up very quickly. We're at Gatwick Airport in our 12 car, class 387-2 Gatwick Express train. Um, set the train up. Lovely weather, obviously. England, Gatwick, Sussex. Let's go outside. This is the moment of truth. And it's worked. Does that not look like a beautiful train? Um... It is a beautiful train. My apologies, a Thameslink train. Why well, I'm saying Gatwick Express. Um, anyway, here we are. One thing you'll notice about the 387 um, is if you um, look down to just to the left of the cab, front left of the cab door, you'll see that extra little light down on the bottom. That is something which the class 375, which this train's based on, doesn't have. So this is an extra little feature, which I find very, very fitting um, for this train. I think I'm very, very pleased with um, um, DP simulation for this add-on. Um, so now, once the doors close, which should be any second now, there we go, um, I will leave you with a shot of our Class 387 newly downloaded, um, pulling out of Gatwick Airport. So I hope this video has been useful for you. This train and the Gatwick Express one, which is the other one, which I'll download um, at some point, um, will be appearing in a video in the next few weeks on the Brighton Main Line. Um, so do look out for that. Um, other than that, I hope you found this video useful. You can download stuff now. Thank you very much for watching, um, and goodbye.